Well, the family of 15-year-old Irin Salo have launched a crowdfunding campaign to help her realize her dreams. The funds will go towards a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to go on an academic tour to the United States. Salo's dream is to become an astrophysicist at NASA. Uh, the United States uh, academic tour is only extended to top academic achievers like Irin. SABC News reporter Reginald Vidboy is following up on the story. Uh, Reginald, a very good afternoon to you. A very good afternoon to you, Blaine, once again. And I must say that what I understand of an astrophysicist is that it's someone who wants to understand the universe and its contents, like the stars, the galaxies, the planets. And that's what Eden wants to become one day. The 15-year-old is only in grade 10 now. 2024, she will be in uh, matric in that court, and we hope that that court will come out very strongly and give a satisfying pass rate for the Northern Cape because we saw um, last year 66% and even um, uh, in the 20, sorry, in 2020, 20, it was 66%, in 2021, it was 71.4%. So it can be done, it is possible. But earlier on, we spoke to Erin to just get a sense of why she decided to be, or, or wants to become an astrophysicist what is the driving force behind it all? So let's take a listen to that. Um, well, since I was young, I always strived to do really good at school. And because of this, at school, it was like they chose the top academic achievers from the top academic schools. And because I worked so hard, I was able to be chosen to go. So it's, and it's just like, I just worked really hard and I was really surprised that I was able to achieve it so soon. And I know that you are at Kimberley Girls High School and last week when I attended that uh, Matric Awards year in Kimberley, your school was also among the top three. Just give us the perspective of, uh, we know that learners at the school study very, very hard, but they also need to get inspiration and um, that just a little push um, from your peers, from your family. So who's your inspiration behind it all? Um, I would have to say my biggest inspiration is my mom. She taught me that hard work and diligence always pays off. And without her and my dad, I know that I wouldn't be able to be where I am today and they my biggest supporters. And then also, you want to become an astrophysicist at NASA. And now, not a lot of people actually want to enter the fields of mathematics, science. Why did you decide on, the, on, on that? Um, I was really interested in astronomy and space ever since I was younger. And another thing is whenever I feel unmotivated and they're like, I'm hopeless, I look up at the sky and I would find hope and motivation in the stars because I know that there's so much more out there than the problems that I'm facing right now. And then also we know that um, you need funding to bring this dream into fruition. Um, how did it come about and just tell us about um, what you need and what people can do to assist you to for your dream to come to realization. Um, they're like there's different um, things that need to be taken into account. Like the first price is the tour itself. That's like sixty one thousand rand, and then we still need um, traveling expenses because we can only depart from Johannesburg and Cape Town and Durban. And I need money for my passport and visa as well. Um, I have a GoFundMe account that I made for this, and then you can also contact the people of the tour itself, and then they'll take that money in and they'll like put it away for you. Well, and as you've heard in that interview I had with Erin earlier on, her biggest inspiration, her parents. And I am now joined by Stacey and Stash. A very good afternoon to you. Uh, proud parents, I must say, you can be. <laughs> Stacey, I'm going to start with you. How do you feel about this moment? Your 15-year-old girl uh, have this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to go to the United States of America on an academic tour, only for top achievers. Yes, I'm actually so, so, so proud. I don't even have any words to express, um, you know, what I'm feeling right now. We are so excited um, for this opportunity and, um, like I said, extremely proud of Eden.
Have you ever thought that she would make it this far in life? Um, you know, um, I've always thought Eden will, you know, she's always been ex this extraordinary little girl. So I've always thought she would make it big. But, you know, um, so soon, so soon it came as a shock. But yes, we're so excited for her. Stish, I'm going to bring you in here. As a father, as a proud father, have you ever thought that your uh, child, Erin, um, would one day become an astrophysicist to understand the universe, to understand the stars, the planets, and the galaxies? <laughs> um, well, Rich, um, I read an article not too long ago um, that actually says that the children get the brains from the dads. So <laughs> it's not a big surprise to me. <laughs> um, but no, Erin's always displayed a very big interest in mathematics and in science. So it's, it's, I would say it's an ideal field, but it doesn't come as a huge shock to me. Tell me, is she the first one in the family who's getting such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity or making it thus far? Um, yes, in my family, yes, it, uh, it is. Um, we are prone to uh, South Africa. We've never had the opportunity to travel abroad. I mean, um, this is a good opportunity for her, and she is definitely the first, and I'm very proud of that. And then also... Parents need to play a critical role in their children's schooling career and many children out there, they are not getting the, assist the necessary assistance and we don't know what the circumstances might be. Some of their parents uh, may have passed on, we don't know. Um, but what is your secret and what um, can you share with other parents to assist their children to to be a driving force behind it all so that their children can also try and make it in life? Um, well, Ridge, I can tell you there is no, um, for parenting, there is no one-on-one handbook um, to say what works and what's right. But what's been working for me, um, I can definitely say, is to make the time of day. Um, give your kids the necessary attention. It's easy for us as parents to get lost in our day-to-day -day, um, work. Life is hectic. Um, but make the time. Listen to them. Um, these are young people that need to be formed. they they at a very, very critical stage in their lives. So um, give Give them that time of day, listen to them. Um, and what's worked for Erin is, and I'd like to plead to all parents to do the same, encourage reading. Um, reading's a big part mm -hmm. of um, what developed Erin's um, insight and intellect and the desire to be where she is today. Thank you. Um, Stacey, I'm going to bring you in again. Um, we also know that the family and friends started the crowdfunding. Just tell us about that, what she needs and what can be done. Okay, well, um, there's different categories to the, the cost that's involved. So it's the tour amount, which is about 61000 And then the, there's another three-day um, tour as well for, um, to go to NASA and to Orlando. But that will um, uh, det be determined closer to September ne, um, compared to the, you know, the random dollar. Yeah, and then after that, um, we need to do the visa for her and her passport, you know, and then also spending money for her, you know, um, when she goes to the USA. And then, yes, there are, um, there are some family members and some people that I'd like to thank so far. Um, it will be um, R.C. Ishmael Attorneys, um, Jonathan Darmans um, from Central Roofing Industries. Um, there's also um, from Xerox, um, Quincy Monchusi. I'd like to say thank you so much. And then um, Abby as well. Yeah, I'd like to say thank you so much to them because thus far they've been, you know, um, of our sponsors. Thank you so much, um, Stacey and Stash. And well, Blaine, I don't know whether uh, parents out there, especially women, if they are going to be hot under the collar at this point in time for <laughs> Stash, because he did a study saying that um, girls are getting their, their brains from their fathers. <laughs> I don't know. But, <laughs> but as, you, as you heard... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Erin is well on her way to the United States of America on that yeah. uh, academic tour and she needs the funding and like Stash also said, just uh, parents need to be there to give their children the necessary yeah. uh, encouragement and also encourage children to read, read, read and we know that reading yeah. is very, very important. Well, look, uh, Reggie, being a parent is tough. Um, I, I know I'm raising a 10 year old who's going on 21, uh, but no doubt Erin is, uh, is a blessing to them. And my only hope is that uh, her faith and her, her hard work is rewarded with what she finds in the future. Thank you very much indeed for bringing us the story. Reginald Voodboy, their life for us in Northern Cape. Appreciate it.